Paul O'Grady made his name in the entertainment world for his iconic performance and alter ego Lily Savage. The character was an integral LGBTQ representation on British TV in an era before drag queens were mainstream. Since his death on March, 28, his friends have praised his path to success, but not without detailing the tough decisions he made to get to the height of his career. After his success as Lily Savage, Paul went on to host a number of TV shows which included ITV's For the Love of Dogs. However, before his time in the entertainment world, Paul worked hard at honing his act as Lily Savage in front of audiences in London pubs and clubs. He perfected his act, splitting his time between working as a social worker in Camden and performing in the pubs. Paul was eventually forced to make the heartbreaking decision to give up his career and his love for social work in order to progress his entertainment career. One of the late star's close friends said, he was really into his job, and, being a social worker was his calling but he had to give up the work because he could only spread himself so thinly. I think when you know you're a performer, which he knew deep down, nothing is going to stop you from performing. After perfecting the act and working the underground circuit for 13 years, Paul and Lily Savage became a regular fixture on Britain's TVs in the morning on The Big Breakfast. Before his time as Lily Savage, he worked as a peripatetic care officer in the 1970s, living with elderly people and dysfunctional families. He previously spoke out on the challenging job and said it had a lasting effect on him, deepening his appreciation of the misfortune of those who found themselves at the bottom of the social ladder. Speaking to the Mirror in 2016, Paul recalled the terrifying moment he saved a child from a knife-wielding maniac during his time as a social worker. He explained that he had to flee the flat where he was keeping an eye on a young baby after a terrifying confrontation with the child's drunk father. Paul was forced to make a desperate phone call to the Salvation Army to help, leaving a long-standing admiration for the Christian charity. Don't miss! Bargain Hunt star Charlie Ross has lived in the same area for 40 years, watch, Meghan and Harry slammed for making Coronation a soap opera, insight, this morning backlash as Allison accused of encouraging theater chaos, latest, after the news of his death, tributes from friends and co-workers poured in, with the BBC airing Lily Savage's blankety blank in tribute to the late star. In the classic episode, Lily cheerfully teased celebrity guest stars including Sir Ian McKellen and Davina McCall. The gesture went down well with fans of the late star, with viewers flocking to Twitter during the now bittersweet episode. Lee Hood praised, what a lovely touch by the BBC to show a classic episode of Blankety Blank as a mark of respect to the late Paul O'Grady. At Yano Du commented, tears of laughter have momentarily replaced the tears of loss. Alison Wade added, drinking cheap kava and brought to tears watching the wonderful Paul O'Grady as Lily Savage hosting Blankety Blank. Sick, Dave Jones expressed, watching the hashtag Blankety Blank tribute to the late, great Paul O'Grady slash Lily Savage. I think the reason he was so loved is that the humor was risque, but never cruel, and he always ever punched upwards, as all good comedians should. The Andy Wokeloth just enjoy punching down. Sick, Jindrian Bend, lovely for act going to televise a classic Lily Savage's blankety blank in honor of the life and legacy of Paul O'Grady, a trailblazer and icon of the drag community. Sick.